So you're trying to pass your star test, and dang, maybe you don't know anything. Maybe today's your first day of trying to, of wanting to learn. Alright, this is your first day. This is not the video for you. Go check out the first video I made that has that talks about equivalent. There are six steps to your star success. Alright, the first one is equivalent. Go watch that video. I promise you that one's gonna unlock five or six to nine questions on your star test. Alright, this is step two. Step two when it comes to success on your star test is domain and range. Now just before, but before we even start, this is the easiest, the fastest, there is no other method that's gonna make it this simple. I'm the only one in the whole wide world that's got these tools. You're gonna wanna watch this video, alright, let's go. All right, here we go. This is step two of the six steps to your star success. All right, the first one was equivalent. Now, you went through the test, you found all the easy ones, did all the equivalent ones, nice, you're great. Step two, once you're done with that is, okay, now what? Now, the next easiest ones are gonna be the ones that say domain and range, all right? Domain and range, those are the next ones to do. So, on your little test, you gotta write this in order. You know what, let's just go find the questions that say domain and range. All right, here we go. Star test, blah, 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 we don't need that. We don't need the formula chart, who cares, blah, blah, blah. Blah, graphing paper, who cares, blah, 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 blah. All right, number one says, what is the slope? Nope, I don't care about that, I wanna find domain and range. Number two says, a golfer hit the, no! That's not how you read math problems. You go to the store, I mean, oh, sorry, don't read the store, you go to the question. What is the domain, oh, we found a domain and range, so here it is. Domain. Now you have to know something before we do this. Like you have to know this. This won't be anywhere on your test for you to figure it out. You have to go into the test with this in your brain. Alright, well now wait, before we even do this, we gotta get our eyes, make sure our eyes are open, our mind is clear, right? And our heart is ready to receive this. So we're gonna say our student creed on three. Or you I mean say it with me. Like, you can be cool, man. I'm cool, I say it. But or you don't say it and hey, no problem. You may be too cool to even pass your math class. But I'm not even kidding. When I started saying this over myself, dang, it's, I didn't have to study, I didn't do any extra homework, I didn't have to go get a tutor, man, I was getting, I was failing classes, and now all of a sudden I'm getting 80s and 90s, nothing changed, I kid you not, I just was able to, wow, I understand what they're saying now, literally, alright, so student creed on three, ready, one, two, three, today is a new day, I can read well, I can understand what I read, I can remember it, and apply it correctly, I've got eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand, it might not be easy, but it's worth it, all right? Okay, now ready, here we go. I got that, now I'm ready to go. Now I'm ready to go. All right, Tessa, what is the domain of the function? Okay, time out. You have to know something before you do this. You have to know about domain and range. So there we go, this is, what, this is what you have to know. Now remember, I'm only gonna give you the bare minimum. This, this is it. So I see the word domain. You have to know. Now, you can write this here, or write it on the front of your start test, whenever your test starts or whatever. But you have to know that you have a team called domain and range, right? This is like peanut butter jelly right here. They go together. Peanut butter jelly. Now, they don't say, oh, I'm gonna have a, a, a jelly peanut butter sandwich. That sounds backwards. It's always peanut butter and then jelly. It's always domain and then range. In case you forget, alphabetically, just put them in order alphabetically. A, B, C, D comes first, and then R comes later. So it's domain first and then range. So there we go, that's the team. I cut them in half. One of these has the X and one of these has the Y. Well, which letter comes first when it comes to X and Y? A, B, C, D, D, T, U, V, W, X, and then Y, okay? So the X comes first and then the Y. That's how you know who's on whose team. The domain is the X and the range is the Y. All right, now the last thing you have to write is, on your domain part, you have to write this. All real, ooh, all real numbers, all right? That's it. Now you're done. You have all the information you need to be successful and get your domain questions right. Now on your start test, there's about four or five of these on every year, so this will help you with four or five plus the seven or nine or whatever we got. Boom, you're already sitting at 13, 14 questions. Oh my gosh. Now all you gotta do is find eight more. So I, this is gonna be easy. I promise you, equivalent was easy. This is easy, even, even easier right here. All right, you go. What is a domain? Well, what is domain? So whenever you see the word domain, circle the word domain, because I know that you know what you're talking about. Put a little X over him, and then I'm gonna write all real numbers. I don't have to write it, because I don't remember it. No, write it, write it, I write it. I've been doing this for 12 years. I still write it. So, domain, well, I'm smarter than you. Okay, cool, that's why you're here watching this video on how to pass the start test, right? <laughs> Just kidding, no, but let's go, let's get it done. Domain is X, write down all real numbers. 
So, since I know Domain is X, I haven't even looked at the graph yet. I haven't even read the story yet. I know that I want to have an X. So, here, choice F, he has an X there. Choice G, he's got a Y there. So, you scratch him out. Now, whenever you scratch him out, don't you scratch him out like that. That's weak. That's weak because I can still see what it is, which means I'm still considering it. Whenever you break up with some man, you know, this person was bad for me. They were a horrible person. I don't ever want to talk to them again. So, you get their number out of your phone. Don't just wall me, just in case, what if I want to cut? Well, then they weren't that bad to you then. All right, on this one right here, I know for sure I'm not looking for a Y. I don't want Y. So you scratch out the thing like this. There we go. That's how you do it. Be a man about it. You know that it's domain. That can't be it. All right, choice H says, oh, it's got a Y there. Nope, I don't want that either. You scratch them all the way. There we go. There we go. Now you got choice J. Yes, there's an X right there. That's what I want. All right, so I want domain. Next part is, uh, I, I got a zero and six. I see numbers, but I don't know what to do with these numbers. It's okay, look, this guy, these gave me numbers over here. I got some numbers here, I got some numbers here, and I got some numbers here. Okay, whenever they put the numbers in pairs like that, they put, they put them like this, they're called coordinates, they're called points. Now whenever they're in points, the X is always first, because one of those numbers is the X, and the other one is the Y. In case you forget, do your ABCs, your alphabetical ABCs, TUVW, X, and then Y. So I'm going to put a little X over this 0, because that's the X number. Put a Y over the 6, that's a Y number. X over the 110, Y over the 36, X over here by this guy, and Y underneath that 0, all right? I just labeled them correctly. Now, which ones did I care about? Which ones do we care about for this problem? We care about the X and the Y? No, we only care about the X because it said domain in the question. So I'm going to scratch out the Y number so I don't even consider them. I don't consider them. Not thinking about them. They're gone. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's go back and read. Choice F says 0. So let me see if a 0 happens on the X numbers. Uh, Yeah, yeah, 0 happens right here in the very beginning. So yes, the 0 does happen. That is true. And then it says that 230 happened. Uh, does 230 happen? Oh, yes, 230 happens also. Happens right there. So check mark over him. Beautiful. Now the choice J says six. By the way, I really like F. I want to circle it, but I want to make sure. I want to make sure I'm getting these right. These are the easy ones. You cannot afford to miss these. Uh, this says six. I don't see a six here. No, there is no six. That six makes it wrong. So the whole thing is now wrong. Now, in case you didn't do that, if you didn't label the X and Y, then you're thinking, oh, I see the six right here, so I think the answer's gonna be, no, that's why. Don't let it trick you. You already know what's good for you and what's bad for you. Get rid of the bad, so this is how your paper should look when you do this question. Circle domain, write X, all real numbers. Scratch out all the Ys, because you don't need those. Scratch out the one that you're not looking for, and then let's go, let's go work through the numbers that they gave us, all right? Cool, beautiful, next one. All right, domain arrange, nope, not domain arrange, nope, that's equivalent, I already did that one. Uh, rate of change, nope, the line passes through, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Where's domain and range? Oh, found domain and range. Here we go. Right here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's read the, let's read the, uh, wait, let me first get the stuff so I can draw on him. Perfect. All right, here we go. It says a student worked at a gym. Can do Who cares? I don't care about that. Remember, we don't need to read the story unless we have to. Let's come back to the choice. It says domain and range. All right, so it wants both of them. So let's do first thing first, domain. We know that domain is X and that it is gonna be all the real numbers. I'm gonna put a little hashtag because that means numbers. And then range is gonna be the Y, okay? So I'm gonna deal with domain first because I like him, I, I know him the best. Let's see, domain, all real numbers? Yep, domain is all real numbers. That part is true. Then it says greater than or equal to zero. Okay, now it gives me a number, but I don't know where the numbers are. Where can I find X numbers here? Are there points like there were on the last one? No, there's no points, but look, look, there's a little X right here. Your X numbers are down here at the bottom. So this is how they show you where your X numbers are. So my X numbers are down there. So let's see, does zero happen on the X? Yes, it does, it happens right there, so I like it. That zero is true. So now I go to the next number. All right, now it has 100. Does a 100 happen on the X? No, it doesn't. If you're saying, yeah, there's 100 right there, then you're looking up here? Bro, that's a freaking, that's a Y number. We're not looking for Y, right? we're looking for X right now. So no, no, the 100, that's a Y, they're putting it there, they're trying to trick you. No, he's wrong. So I can scratch him out, so scratch out choice A. Don't be a wimp. Scratch out A the right way. Oh, yeah, 
that's right. I'm sorry, don't be scared. It's not gonna come back and say, oh, uh, no, no, no. It's not gonna magically change. You found something wrong with him, that's not the one. Choice B says domain is this. Okay, maybe. Choice C says, I, mean, I don't know what that even means. Domains, this choice C says domain is all real, man, man. I got all real numbers, bro. All real numbers always beats anything else in domain. So no, I'm, I'm gonna scratch him out because I already got all real numbers on choice C. And I'm also gonna scratch this guy out because I don't need him either. Now, I know the answer is choice C now because everybody else fell apart. But I'm gonna make sure though. So all real numbers, that's true. Greater than or equal to zero. Does a zero happen on the X? Yes, it did, that was true. Then it says a 50. Does a 50 happen on the X? Yes, it does, it's right there. So that is true as well. Now let's go to range. Range says all real numbers. I don't even know, but I'm gonna put a question mark. Then it says zero on the range. Do you see a zero on the range? Let's see, the range is the Y number, so it's Y to the sky. So it's this line right here. Notice, they, the X and the Y, they both share the zero. So yeah, the zero does happen on the Y. So that part is true. Where's the little mouse at? There it is. That part is true. And then the 100, is there a 100 on the Y? Yeah, it's all the way up there, so that part is true. That's how I know C is the one. C is the answer, and I feel great, fantastic about this one. Great job. All right, let's go, find some more domain range. Nope, not domain range, keep going, keep going. Uh, equivalent, where you did that guy, you know how to do that one. No, positive solution, nope, not equivalent. Equ oh, no, sorry, not domain range, where's domain range at? Model, no, respect, no, re re represents, clicks. No, where's the domain at? Domain and range. Still no domain and range. Dang, I want more domain and range. It's so easy. Uh, domain and range, domain and range, equivalent. No, no. No, still dang. I want to find more domain and range because they're so simple. There's usually going to be like four or five, I thought. Where are they at, though? No, not domain and range. Not domain and range. Not domain and range. Not domain and range. Oh, we're running out of questions now. Not domain and range. Not domain and range. It's equivalent. Oh, found a domain and range right here, number 50, let's go! Number 50, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here he is. All right, what does it want? Let's go, domain, you know what domain is, you better write it, domain is X, and that's gonna be all the real numbers. All right, and you know that range is Y. All right, so here we go. I don't even I'm not even typing anything in yet on the computer. I'm just gonna look at the choices. Domain, all real numbers, is that true? Yes, it is. Choice G says, X is, okay, I don't know yet, but I already have choice F that says all real numbers. So I'm gonna pick right now, I'm picking choice F over choice G, just because domain says all real numbers. So no, nope, not choice G. Now I go to choice H, H says all real numbers, so he looks good too. J says, no, J says that, but I already got all real numbers choices, so those guys look better than this other guy, so cool. I'm looking great right now. Now the next part says range, uh, G of X. I don't know what G of X means, so I'm putting a little question mark there. And this guy says range uh, X, uh, what? Range what? Range what? What is that right there? That's an X. But you know, and I know, that range is what? Range has to be a Y. So why the heck do they have an X right there? No, it can't be him. He's wrong. So my answer is gonna be choice F. Now I'm sure you're saying, but look, he has G of X though. Well, if it says G of X, and you got the other one that just says X, this guy is clearly wrong. This guy's clearly just an X. Now whenever they write a G of X, or it could be a F of X, it could be H of X, it could be anything like this, then you could just scratch this out and call it a Y. This is how they can say Y equals. Notice they give it to you in the very beginning of the equation. G of X, that's just saying Y equals, and you just type it in. All right, so you can do it like that. You're all good. All right, let's go, let's find another one, let's find another one. Oh, uh, domain range, no, best describes, no, domain range, it's equivalent. All right, no, that's it. All right, we finished domain range. That's it. Oops, sorry, I skipped one. 41 is a domain range question. I skipped over him. Must have been going too fast. All right, this guy says, what about by equality with domain? The domain. So here we go. I know what to do here. First thing you want to do is make sure we write on this so we don't forget what we have. All right, here we go. Domain, so that means that it's the X values, which means all real numbers. Okay, all the numbers, I'm looking for X. Choice A says X, he looks good. Choice B says Y, so he's wrong. Choice C says X, he's good. Choice D says Y, so he's wrong. I like choice A, I like choice C. Now I see numbers now. So let me go and look at the X numbers. Don't get distracted, we're gonna look at these numbers down here. These are the numbers that matter. So I see a negative two, negative one, one, two, okay. Choice A says negative two. Does a negative two happen? Let's see. Yes, a negative two happens, it's right here. So I really like choice A, I wanna circle it, but not yet, let's make sure. Choice C says 4.5. Does a 4.5 happen? 
Nope, it does not happen on the X. No, that's not true, so this whole guy is wrong. Answer is choice A. Now watch, if you forget, if you're, um, if you're unsure, if you're still over here looking at these Y's right here that you're not even supposed to be looking at, if you look at this, kids are gonna say, oh yeah, he does go to 4.5. That's a Y number, you don't care about Y on this one, because it said domain, all right? So that's it, that's all for domain and range. Step one is equivalent. That unlocks a lot and it's pretty easy, you should be great at equivalent. Domain and range, that unlocks like three to five, and that, even though it's not a ton, that's, those are still easy questions. You can scratch out stuff that says, like if it's domain, you better know that that's X. If it's range, you better know that that's Y. And you scratch out the guys who you don't even care about. Then all you gotta do is go back and look at the graphs, look at the numbers on the X line if you're looking for domain, and see if those numbers happen. Then look at the numbers on the Y line, and see if those number ha numbers happen if you're looking for range. That's it. You have to know domain is X, all real numbers, and range is Y. And that will help you. That's literally all you gotta do, for real. Nothing else. That, that's it, for real. Not even kidding. All right, so now that you know this, practice this stuff. Study this, that way you can show yourself for proof and you can be done, you can pass your start this and be great and get your credit and get out of here. All right, you wanna be able to be so good at this that when you walk into a room, people say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me out? I need help, I don't know how to do this. Can you help me out, please, please, please? You can walk in and say, yeah, I got you. You wanna be able to save somebody's day. That when people see you, they feel hope, right? You wanna save someone's day because we need more heroes. All right, man, y'all be safe. Have a great day. Let's go get them, yeah. Thank you, Father, it's off me, honor. All your sons, all your daughters, give you praise. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father.